Hey guys, it's Miss Clark. Um, I am going to be doing a uh, informational um, booklet with you today. And today is Monday, December 7th, 2020. And let's get started. So our I can statement for today is I can determine the main idea of a nonfiction text using key details from the story. Okay, so um, some of our vocabulary words are tradition, edible, dedicated, and artificial. Okay, so the first part is what is the VIP or main idea? Okay, so we're going to learn how to find the main idea or what the text is mostly about. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can get the video to work. And click on it right here. It's going to make me log in. That's fine. Okay. All right. So you may have already seen this video before in class, but it would be a great review. Right about it. To go ahead and listen to it again. You wrote a paragraph? Roller coasters move in different ways. They can loop upside down. Some twist and turn on the tracks. Others rise high in the sky and then drop suddenly. No matter how roller coasters move, I love feeling the wind through my hair. Uh, Moby, you don't have any hair. But this is an awesome paragraph. Your main idea comes through loud and clear. What is a main idea? The main idea is the point of a piece of writing. It can be a big idea the writer wants to get across. The main idea of your paragraph is that roller coasters move in different ways. The topic sentence tells the main idea and lets you know what the rest of the paragraph will be about. Let's see. Your topic sentence is, roller coasters move in different ways. But there are other sentences here that help explain the main idea. Why are supporting details important? I know that a detail is a piece of information, and when you support something, you hold it up. Your paragraph has three supporting details that describe how roller coasters move. Roller coasters can loop upside down. Some twist and turn on the tracks. Others rise high in the sky and then drop suddenly. Hmm. It's easy to find the main idea in one paragraph, but books can have a lot of paragraphs. How do you find the main idea in a nonfiction book? I know that a book can have one big main idea, and each chapter has a main idea that supports the big idea of the book. And those chapters have paragraphs with main ideas that support the chapter. I think the main idea of this whole book is that making roller coasters takes a lot of science and planning, and there are a lot of details to support that. <coughs> But that's nonfiction. So, how do you find the main idea in a story? This is a great story. The main idea? Mm, not sure. But I can find out by looking for clues in the story. In the story, a girl goes on her first roller coaster. She has 
butterflies in her stomach and wishes she had never gotten in line. But her big sister promises to hold her tightly. And she winds up having a lot of fun and doesn't even need to hold her big sister's hand. Hmm. I can look at the supporting details to figure out the main idea. The girl was nervous, wanted to leave, and her sister helped her. Right, Moby. The main idea is the girl gets over her fear with a little help. I bet she loved feeling the wind through her hair. But you still don't have hair, Moby. All right. So let's look back at our text that we're going to read. So now that we've learned about main idea, um, before you read, so we're going to read the title, what is the text about, and then what is the topic. And then during reading, we're going to look for and carefully read text features. Is the text fiction or nonfiction? Well, I can answer that. It's nonfiction. Look for information, words, and pictures that are repeated. And then after we read, we're going to think about the most important part and then what details and examples back up and support the main idea. So remember, our I can statement our, today, our goal is to determine the main idea of a nonfiction text using details. All right, so now let's read about evergreen trees. All right, so history of Christmas trees. The tradition of using evergreen trees at Christmas time comes from Germany. This became popular in the second half of the 19th century. Back then, people used to only use edible items to decorate their trees. Edible means like you can eat it. So they used things that they could eat and put them on their trees. Um, that means they used things that could be eaten like apples, pears, and nuts. So they'd put nuts on their trees. <laughs> picking out your own tree. Have you ever picked out a Christmas tree at a farm? Some families walk through rows of trees and then cut their own tree down with a saw. The trees are then loaded on top of their car and they drive it home to put up and decorate. All right, so we've read that page. So now decorating the Christmas trees. Although a long time ago, trees were mostly decorated with edible food, now people usually decorate their trees with plastic or glass ornaments. Some kids like to make their own ornaments with paint, yarn, or craft sticks, too. Do you have a favorite ornament? Mm -hmm. All right, artificial trees. Some people use artificial or fake fir trees. The reason might be that they are allergic to a fir tree. They may also think it's better to get a tree that can be used every year. A third reason may be that they don't like the mess of a real tree. Everyone is different. It's important to remember that not everyone celebrates Christmas or has a Christmas tree in their house. If your friend celebrates different holidays than you, make sure to ask them about their traditions. Our world is a beautiful place because we are different and celebrate in different ways. We learn so much from each other. All right, so what illustrations or photographs could be added to reinforce the main idea? So what is it mostly talking about? Okay, got some pictures. All right, so how might the author's intended message change if the details did not support the main idea? Would we be able to tell what the main idea was? It might be a little bit tougher if the details were different, right? What other details could the author have included to make the main idea more clear? All right, so now what you're going to do, since you are a detective because you're a good reader, you're going to use evidence from the text in your answers. So you're going to put the main idea right here in the middle. You're going to put what the text is mostly about, you're going to put four details on the outside in these boxes, okay? So you can look back at your own um, copy of the book if you're at home, or you can uh, rewind the video and listen to it again and find four details that tell about what the main idea is. And if you need help with this, please contact your teacher and they'll be happy to help. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your day and I will see you next time. Bye!